Hi, my name is Kevin. Today we're here. We're going to talk about adjusting a QA5 cutting unit from John Deere. We're going to talk about adjusting your height of cut, setting your clearance for your reel to bed knife, and paralleling your reel. First thing you're going to do is set your front roller bracket to the correct position as per your height of cut, which is identified by these casting marks for these numbers. The next thing you're gonna do is parallel your reel. To do this, you need to have your rear roller isolated from your bench plate. Once this is done, you're gonna move into your front roller bracket eccentric adjusters located here. Your front roller bracket adjuster eccentric is used to move this bracket up and down, which is gonna bring your front roller closer or further away from your bench plate surface. The goal of this is to get the front roller flat on the table, which means your front roller and your real cutting unit are actually parallel to each other. To verify this, you can take a piece of paper, lay it flat on the table here, and try and slide it under the front roller. If it doesn't go, that means your front roller is flat on the table, and now you can jam, you can use your lock bolt here to lock down the eccentric here. There's one located on each side. So if one side's up or down, you can adjust either way. So we've now flipped up our reel. <clears throat> what we're doing now is we're gonna set our clearance between our bed knife and our reel. You're gonna use a 1,000th feeler gauge for QA5 reels. Um, you want to run this through and adjust this so that you can put this through between them, but there's a slight bit of drag. You want it to be even across all areas of the reel, but you don't want there to be any contact. It should be free spinning and you don't hear any tinging at the ends or any noise. If you have to adjust this, you're going to use your adjuster, adjustment uh, knobs back here with a ratchet extension or whatever tool. Um, you're always gonna turn to the right to open up your clearance and turn to the left to close it up. When you first set up a reel, you wanna start with the bed knife and reel fully closed together so that the reel cannot turn. And when you're adjusting, you always wanna adjust opening up your clearance to keep tension on the spring in the adjuster. That way, when you put the reel down or it touches the ground for the first time, it doesn't jar and the spring unloads and changes your clearance. So now that we've set our clearance between our bed knife and our reel using our 1,000th inch feeler gauge, um, you wanna kind of verify uh, and see, make sure everything's going to cut and it's going to uh, it's set correctly. So we use cut strips here. Um, there's a degree of user preference. When we set up reels, we have it cutting one thickness of paper. Uh, you can also do it where you fold it and have them doubled up. And when you would cut, it would uh, cut the top layer and leave the back layer. So it would end up looking something like this. So you have two layers. Um, that's, it comes down to course to course uh, basis. So this reel we have cutting one thickness. You wanna check across the reel. You don't wanna just check one place. You wanna make sure it's nice and even and make sure that one side's not cutting and the other side's actually ripping. And this is how you're gonna verify your reel to bed knife clearance. The next thing we're going to do is set our height of cut using a Accu gauge height of cut gauge. There's a couple different lengths in these you can get for different reels. We're using this one for our QA5 here today. When you set your height of cut, you're going to place the gauge and its uh, rod here on the inside of your bed knife, hooking it on the top side of it. You're going to slide your gauge in and read your number. Be a little weary using your magnet. It can skew your reading a little bit. Uh, you're going to leave your gauge on the unit while you're adjusting. 
you're gonna use a regular drill here. You never wanna use anything with an impact feature to it, and you always wanna use a low range uh, gear setting on your drill, that way to not harm the gears in the adjuster mechanism itself. The adjuster mechanism is located on the back side of the reel right here. There is casting marks in the housing itself or in the side plate itself to tell you which direction is going to do what with your adjustment. You're gonna check your adjustment from side to side to make sure it's even. If they're not even, you can use the speed link located on the reel once we flip it down right here. You can remove this, that way you can use it as a fine adjustment from side to side and they're individual. But if you have a lot of room to take up, you can leave this installed, adjust and use it as your course adjustment. Once you get close, you can take this out and go little by little to make sure it's nice and even. Once you have it even, you can reinstall this just to keep everything in its rightful place and keep everything nice and staying where it should be. Thanks for joining us guys. Check out the other videos in our series. If you have any other questions, contact our locations or our tech support hotline. Thanks.